So now you actually have hit songs under your belt. How did that feel? I mean, it felt great. Um, it was, you know what they say, it's nothing like, you know, the first time, you know. And, and, and so really that feeling when we had our first record and the single was Get It Up, I'm still working clubs in Minneapolis. Uh, I get a call from Prince and he's like, and we still hadn't really put our band together yet. He's like, you better start putting your band together. He said, you guys, he said, you have a hit record. And I was like, wow, you know, but Minneapolis, you're in a bubble. You know, there's no urban stations. We had, I think it was KMOJ. It, 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 it broadcasts sun up to sundown in about a three block radius. <laughs> it was an AM <laughs> station. So, you know, I didn't know. And so, you know, I put the band together and we're going out to do a showcase for Warner Brothers. And um, we got out of the uh, airport. We rented a station wagon. The whole band's piled into this station wagon. And we're on the 405. And no sooner we got on the 405, boom, Get It Up comes on the radio. And that feeling was incredible. We pulled over and people looking at us like we're crazy. We're dancing and stuff all up on the car. And, and that, you know, that was amazing. I think by the time we got to uh, the bird and jungle love, um, it, you know, it was exciting, but it wasn't as exciting as that first single. And plus, Jungle Love was on the radio so much, man. I think it, every, every station, you know, I turned, you know, I would hear it. And I turned to another station because maybe I didn't want to hear it. And guess what? It was on. It was just the rotation was incredible. Well, right around that time, and a lot of people don't realize this, but, you know, Michael Jackson is always put on a pedestal. But around the Purple Rain time, Prince and Michael Jackson were kind of neck and neck. Absolutely. Because, you know, Michael had Thriller. Yeah. Prince had Purple Rain. And he had the movie on top of that. So exactly. He was a movie star and Purple Rain. The sales were up there with Thriller. And I guess the two of them had a kind of like a, a rivalry. They did. But, you know, I think they kind of squashed it. I... I um... I remember Prince told me that he went and met with Michael at some point, and I guess they talked about some stuff. Um, you know, I, I always thought that was an interesting comparison. I think that they were on the same level as artists, but I think Michael was, he was straight entertainer. Well, Prince did it all. You know, Prince was the entertainer, the writer, the producer, everything. So to me, I just thought that made his worth. And not to try and take anything from Michael, don't get me wrong. One of the greatest that ever walked the planet. But I just thought that Prince, as a, a, a rounded, I mean, was the whole package. Right. He was a musician, a songwriter. He didn't need anybody yeah. to, to get him from A to B to Z. He, you know, he could do it all himself. Yeah, Michael needed Quincy Jones. There you go. That's <laughs> all I'm getting at. Uh, Michael needed R. Kelly later. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. needed he needed producers. Yeah, he needed, he needed people. songwriters. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But Prince played like a hundred different instruments. Yeah, so. yeah. Did you ever see the two of them actually get into it? Because there was like this one video where they were like, like remember Hulk Hogan was there, and the two of them were kind of kind of battling on stage a little bit. Yeah, um, I never, I never really was around. You know, that was, you know, like I said, you know, I kind of. You know, we, we loaded up and did what we did, and then I got out of there. So a lot of that stuff really came about later. And, you know, Prince is one of them kind of cats where, um, you know, I never had his phone number, uh, not after I left Minneapolis. Um, so I never knew how to call him, and he always contacted me at some obscure hour of the night. My phone rings, and I, I mean, I had, you know, or I could count on one hand, I had some crazy cousins who called me in the middle of the night, but usually... It'd be him. And he's got some kind of idea, something he wants to do. But um, no, I, I could never just pick up the phone and say, hey, what's up, you know, or nothing like that. It, it, he had to, it had to be him calling. 